Hey, you won't believe what Jerome and I found while we were hiking. We were by the riverbank and wanted to see some wildlife. We didn't find any wildlife, but from where we were standing, it looked like we found a pair of off-white Chicago 1 size 13 buried in the mud. And when we took a closer look, we were both right. That's crazy. I haven't found shoes like this in a long time. At this point, we ended our hike and wanted to see what the shoes looked like all cleaned up. I don't know how those shoes got there. Bro, stop lying. We know you put those shoes there. But we're going to do our best to bring them back to life. We're going to need to remove as much mud as possible to do a deep clean on the leather. I'm going to put them in a bucket of water to loosen all the dirt off. We're going to do multiple rounds of cleaning. We just want to get rid of as much of the mud as we can. And in this bottle, I'm using Angela's sneaker cleaner to remove the mud off the insoles and on the uppers. While the shoes are drying, we're going to use these shoelaces to hold the wings in place so they don't droop down while they're drying. I'm going to toss in both the insoles and laces inside of this bag and pour in detergent. I definitely added way too much. I should only be a fraction of that, but it's okay. This guy's dogs are pretty dirty, you can still see the imprint on the insoles. I'm going to be using OxyClean Versatile and Blue Laundry Detergent to wind the insoles. I'm going to add a little bit of blue dye to help with the whitening. I'm going to put saran wrap over the insole so it doesn't dry out the product and leave them out in the sun. These stains are really embedded in the insole so we're going to have to do multiple sessions. I wanted to make a stencil for the off-white air logo, just in case if the logo comes off from using soul sauce. This is also cool to have just in case if I wanted to do an off-white custom. The ones that I've used online don't have the quotation centered perfectly, at least now of an exact logo from an off-white shoe. While we're whitening the insoles, we're going to deoxidize the rubber soles by using Sally's 40 Volume Cream. If you manage to get some soul sauce on the leather, I recommend you take it off right away because if you leave it there while it's deoxidizing, it will damage the leather and eat it up. I'm going to try a different method to wind the mesh. I'm going to be using hydrogen peroxide and leaving them out in the sun. I'm also going to add blue laundry detergent to make the whites look whiter. After a few hours underneath the sun, I'm going to remove all of the solution with a steamer.
I wanted to see if this would work since these bands are made out of plastic. I want to use Sally's 40 volume cream to see if I could lighten it or make it back to clear. I'm going to give another round of hydrogen peroxide and leave them out in the sun. Because the white fabric is so thin and that the foam underneath the fabric has turned yellow, it won't go back to the original white because of that constraint. For what we have, this is the best we can get and they did turn a lot wider than before. The insoles are still showing the footprint so we're going to use hydrogen peroxide to widen them as best as we can. We could only do so much because these shoes have been worn down to the ground. I'm going to use a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to remove these dirt marks around the midsole. I'm also going to use a sponge to remove the paint scratch on the leather and it's not going to remove the lettering. Now the next step is to replace the logo that has been faded away with a new one. I had to screenshot a photo from Google and put it in Photoshop so I could trace it out. Once it's been traced out, I'll plug it in my Cricut machine then use a heat transfer vinyl to apply a new logo. This logo is now permanent thanks to the heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to use this paint match that I made for the 1.5 Chicago swap that I did earlier this year because the paint match is pretty spot on already. I'm gonna start trimming any loose fibers or hair that's all over the shoe. I'm going to do a light scuff removal on the toe box. Using a leather filler would be best since I don't have any right now. I'm just going to use my paint. I'm going to kick on just a little bit on top of the cracks, let it fully dry, and then I'm going to use sandpaper to sand it down.
We're gonna use a lip remover to remove these sock fuzzies from the inside of the shoes. I did everything I can to deep clean the stitching, but some of the stains just wouldn't come out. I was putting in more effort to deep clean the stitching. It would have been a lot easier to just replace it. With my sewing awl, I'm going to re-stitch the whole midsole. Alright, now the last step is to glue that little flap on the swoosh back down. Originally, I think it was glued down by the factory, but because of how worn they are, it went back up. So I'm just going to use Barge Cement Infinity to do the job. And that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all on the next one. There's a link to my email address and a portal to my Instagram or TikTok down in the description below. So hit me up if you need your shoes restored.